So when we talk about the difference between lyophilized exosomes and exosomes that are, that are purified and kept in a different form or frozen, either from placental tissue or amniotic cells or other types of sources, the main difference is when you lyophilize it, you actually preserve the biological activity of the exosomes. You have to think that the exosomes have proteins, growth factors, um, other components in them that when they're exposed to changes in temperature, by essence, they degrade and they lose their activity. So you, you have to look at it. If you can lyophilize them, preserve the activity of the exosomes, you actually preserve the regenerative capacity or capability of the exosomes themselves. What I find I really like about the exosome regenerative complex is not only the fact that it's versatile with pairing with other modalities that I already use in the clinic, but also the ease of use compared to the other types of exosome products that come from different types of cells and cell banks. One, it's lyophilized, so it's very easy to use and transport. And I know because it's lyophilized that I'm preserving the biologic activity. Whereas others that are shipped in different forms, sometimes I am not quite sure when I receive it, if it still is retaining its full biologic activity and regenerative potential.